Hey, welcome back to the channel for an overview on the Sims 4 Basement Treasures kit. As you know, we received two brand new kits for the Sims 4 today, Basement Treasures and the Greenhouse Haven kit, which I've done a review on and I'll link that down in the description in case you guys are interested in checking it out. I know it sounds really corny to say, but I'm super excited for this kit ever since I found out about it yesterday because from what I've heard and seen on Twitter, there's actual items from the Sims 1 that have been brought over to the Sims 4 in this kit. So let's kick off this reunion by reading off the description. Just a little dusty. Sometimes you have to sift through the basement to uncover a few gems. They might look a little scuffed up, but they still have plenty of use and a whole lot of character. Precious memories. Add a little history to your decor. Do these items have sentimental value to your sims, or are these simply what they're making do with? Maybe that was their mom's favorite recliner or their grandparents' old television. Create new memories from the old. Here we are in our beloved Kyle Kyle Sims bedroom, aka Ayla's basement. If you've been keeping up with my Growing with the Grovers LP, then you're pretty aware of the situation. I thought this would be the perfect place to showcase these items because Kyle is literally the only sim that I think I've ever had live in a basement before. So we're going to start off with the only wallpaper and it's called the dated drywall. It's a very interesting wallpaper. It definitely has like some texture and discoloration on it. You guys can kind of see that here. It basically gives the impression of a wallpaper that has been glued to a wall or a brick for a very long time and it's kind of starting to deteriorate a little bit. It also pairs really nicely with the alleyway bricks from City Living and in case you're looking for a a light fixture to go in your basement I highly suggest the one from the laundry day stuff pack and if you're looking to give your basement walls even more character there is the weary wall decal so this one basically is exposed brick underneath what appears to be wallpaper this one has like a little scuff or maybe somebody drew on the walls I don't know what this is supposed to be like another another scuff of some kind and this one looks like water damage actually or maybe mold starting to form speaking of mold there are some like mold spores here which are really freaking cool i love this and a another exposed brick swatch i think there's even one that actually has um exposed drywall so that's it so maybe if you didn't want to do um exposed brick but you wanted to show that there was drywall behind the wallpaper you could do that as well if you are looking for even more um like wall decals and whatnot i highly suggest you checking out the vampire pack there is a ton in there like water damage we have exposed like paneling i think there might even be like spider webs and things like that that i think would pair very nicely with a basement setting and there's a lot of packs actually that have like different wall decals but that one specifically i think is the strongest in terms of what it has to offer this kit also has a set of unbeatable floor stains these stains have been here a while quite a while almost as if each one has a unique story to tell what do you think they're saying you Know, some things are left best unsaid and I think this is absolutely one of them I will say though these stains are actually really freaking sweet the only issue I'm having with them is they don't show up on a lot of flooring um, so for instance like if you did concrete in your basement you wouldn't really be able to see them so I had to switch to some wood flooring just for them to show up the first watch looks like some type of water damage and then we have like another puddle version we have like some floor scuffs here if you can even make out what they are and of course like some more Old spores and potentially some dust this last one looks like it's also water damage but it has like a very sharp line which leads me to believe that it probably actually goes with this version of the um, wall stains that we also received in the pack and I kind of like the way that that looks actually the first item we have is the best seat in the house and basically what it looks like is your grandfather's lazy boy my grandpa grandpa Edwards he actually had a lazy boy just like this and it was his pride and joy it was practically like his second son he loved this thing with all of his heart I can't tell if it's like dust or dirt or maybe just the leather has been super worn down that it's showing like it's true color I do wish though that this was an actual recliner and not the of one next up we have grandma's couch I am so freaking excited to put this couch in my house whether it's my basement or my home I'm definitely gonna freaking use it I love how realistic it looks it doesn't look perfect like it just came off of the Ashley showroom floor even the swatches too I appreciate the abundance of solid swatches but I really really love like this vintagey floral design and even these little pinstripes here so I'm gonna delete these guys so that I can make more room for the retro TV retroplex TV console this item 
is a disappointment. It is. I love it. I love the way it looks so much that it's actually disappointing in the fact that it isn't functional. Do you know how many people probably would have used this? I'm pretty sure, you know, modders are going to come to the rescue and uh, bring this bad boy to life, so to speak. It's funny because just as I was mentioning that, Shirley Sims came out with a restored version of the Retroplex TV console. In addition to restoring this item, they've also added in a ton of brand new swatches. And what's even better is that this object here is is base game compatible and completely free to download, which I'll provide a link to in the description if you guys are interested. But thankfully this kit does come with at least one functioning TV because I would be really sad if both of these were just, you know, decor items. Here is the square tube. It has four different swatches in total, one with a burned in screen and then just one with the screen intact. Let's move on to our coffee table. There's a couple different variations of this coffee table within the swatch selection. So the first one has like coffee rings and stains throughout the table. It also looks a little more distinct stressed with some of the mesh missing, whereas the other swatches take it back to a time where it almost looks like it's new. Another item that grabbed my attention from the screenshots is the unmatched chairs. I thought this was such an interesting concept because the top of this item is actually slottable, so if you wanted, you could put items on top of it voluntarily or involuntarily. Like if it's just sitting down in your basement and your sim grabs a snack, they could potentially put the snack on top of the bottom. I guess it's the bottom of this chair that has its legs snapped off. Let me show you the swatches really quick and then I'll show you what it looks like to put some items on top. So there aren't a ton of swatches to be had, but again, going back to um, being able to put items on top of the chairs, you can actually grab this lamp here. If you wanted to make your basement look like you're just stacking items on top to condense space, you could totally do that. While we're here, let me show you the not so mod lamp. Basically the lampshade is kind of off center. There's some cracks in the base there. And then we have ourselves the Uncle Bob's Dusty Rubber Plant. If you know, you know, this plant was originally in The Sims 1. It has been, what, 20 freaking years since we've seen this plant? Having once spruced up a bare corner and enlivened many decks, this artificial plant is now a handy dust collector for generations to come. Requiring much less tending than other plants, it stands the test of time for Sims who may want a bit of green without having too much work involved. I'm not sure if it's like the texture of this object or if they're trying to give it the illusion that there's actual dust, but I'm gonna be honest, this looks kind of low poly and like it was really truly derived from The Sims. Sims 1. Here's a set of vintage photographs. I'm pretty sure that these are supposed to be Sims that we're supposed to recognize. I'm almost positive this is Bob and Eliza Pancakes. I'm not sure who these children are supposed to be, nor do I recognize this family, but I do believe that these Sims here are Bella and Alexander Goff. They've also included this mirror here that I thought for certain was just going to be like a decor item, but it's indeed functional and it does come with a version with the crack and then also a version without the crack. And there's also a version of the mirror where they've removed the paintings at the bottom entirely. No basement, in my personal opinion, is complete without having like random odds and ends and boxes filled with junk. So we have ourselves the little dusty trinkets. It's a cute little bear, like a porcelain bear that's missing an ear. We have a big box of irreplaceably replaceable things that can go on top of the coffee table but all that appears to be in the box are just like a bunch of binders and maybe perhaps old clothes. And then we have the shabby cardboard box that looks like maybe it's suffering from some water damage. And next to the shabby cardboard box, we have the Relic of Good Times. Basically, it is a landline phone that is on top of a really old lunchbox. I remember way back when The Sims 1 had landline phones. Like, it's so crazy to me to think now The Sims, like The Sims 4, has cell phones where when we started, we actually had phones that were were attached to the wall and it's just so weird to see it now be considered an ancient relic. <laughs> I don't know maybe I'm starting to feel really old by this pack because a lot of these items I actually remember whereas I know a lot of you guys probably won't. Anyway let's move on to the records of the past. Basically this is a little crate jam-packed full of different vinyls. That would be really cool if we could get like a record player. Now that I'm thinking about it I definitely would like something like that. Here's the fun of yesteryear. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be exactly. Maybe just some old board games. Unfortunately, these aren't going to be functional, which I'm sure comes to no surprise. Let's move on to, I think, the Momentums of Glory. It's so crazy to me that you fight so hard to get these damn trophies. 
trees and then they just essentially end up in your basement <laughs> but uh yeah we have a we have a little cluster here of different trophies and some random either like medallions or and maybe those are coins or something i don't know i can't really tell here's the moving buddy which you can purchase for 265 simoleons i don't really know what you would use this for but i could definitely see myself using this for like storytelling purposes if i wanted to like emulate my sim maybe moving or something i think this would be kind of cool for like photos perhaps so the next item is the brass floor lamp so in addition to getting that tilted lamp that i showed you guys a little bit earlier we have this bad boy i do like it though i really like the tilting of the uh the lampshade i think it just kind of adds like some character i'm gonna filter through just to show you guys kind of what that looks like and then i didn't show y'all the different swatches on the lampshade so i'm gonna make sure to go back and do that and then we have the unstable shelves i actually thought that this was going to be a bookshelf. It isn't, it is not a functional bookshelf. I had high hopes for a second that you'd be able to take the base game book stack and throw it right next to these books here in this empty space on the shelf, and then you could transform it into a functioning bookshelf theoretically. But unfortunately, you can't do that either. The only thing that can really slot on here is just like random odds and ends. And it looks like this part and that part of the shelves are actually slottable. So this entire space here is dead. It's just dead freaking space that makes me so sad i'm not gonna lie like i'm a little disappointed because i really i really do like these shelves i just wish they functioned more like shelves and less like a decor object sometimes you guys your girl does some wacky things i think i deleted the footage where i showcased the forgotten frame mirror things anyways here we have a beautiful beautiful mirror it is functioning it's called the graceful ambition standing mirror but there's also another variation that's a completely separate object where it has like a bunch of these frames and portraits and things at the bottom both of these are functional and there's also a swatch that actually has a crack in the mirror i'm very grateful that they've included both versions where there's a crack and there's one without the second to last item in this kit is the traveler's trunk with the greenhouse haven they had a trunk as well or some sort of a i don't know what it was it wasn't a trunk but it was it was like a trunk i guess you could call it that and it was actually functional like it had its own inventory so i'm wondering if this one does too i know that you can slot items on top of it again to kind of create that stacked look uh, but I'm wondering if it does have its own inventory so that's something that I'll have to check out here in just a moment but saving the absolute best and worst for last is the disassembled heart bed from the sims 1 it has been 20 years since I have seen her and I have been missing her every single day since I want to read off the description because even though this thing is in literal pieces and this is not how I wanted it to go I'm kind of curious to see if there's anything in the description that leads us to believe that we we might actually see the assembled version of this bed in the future. It's been over 20 years, yet this old vibromatic will still have you feeling flirty as you recall the good old days when you were living large. It has a lot of history and it shows. Nonetheless, there's still some motion in the ocean and maybe the vibration engine could even work again one day. This unique piece captures such a special place in our hearts that we can't quite part with it. The Sims team really did this bed dirty, quite literally. Look at some of these swatches. They're absolutely freaking disgusting. But one thing that you can do with this bed is you can actually enable a romantic aura so she can still give off her flirty essence and put you in the mood even though you aren't technically able to use it but just judging by this description I'm pretty hopeful that we might actually see this antique make a return I personally can't wait to see it before I leave you with my final thoughts on this kit I just want to show you guys a couple things the first thing that I discovered was really unexpected so when you go into live mode if you look at the lamps they give off like this this very dull glow and subtle flicker kind of creating that super spooky scary ambience of a basement that part I was really excited about because it just kind of adds like an additional effect that I don't think we have with any lights presently the other thing I wanted to check out is how exactly the retroplex restored um, TV functions by Shirley Sims because in the notes they did mention that it might be a little less than perfect so I just kind of want to double check on that and uh, honestly it looks and behaves just just like I would anticipate. Now I am gonna just for comparison, I'm gonna try um, to turn on the square too. Poor Kyle is super duper sick right now. He's like literally fuming, so ignore him. And the last thing was, is this trunk 
functional? Does it have an inventory? And womp womp womp, no it doesn't. How? How does that even make sense that the trunk that we got with Greenhouse Haven actually behaves as a trunk, but this one that is literally marked as such doesn't? That's a little agitating. It definitely takes away a couple points, but it doesn't take away from the pack. I personally never play with basements, and even just plopping down a few objects from this kit, I already feel like this is a true authentic basement, and it's probably one of my favorite kits. I know it's not going to be for everybody, and someone's going to probably think that I'm crazy for liking it, but I do genuinely love this kit and what it has to offer. It is completely and utterly up my alley. It is 100% my bag, so even though I do feel like the Sims team did me dirty with the disassembled heart bed, I think for now, I can look past it and find forgiveness in my heart, especially if they bring the heart bed back in the future. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. I hope that you enjoyed, and if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine, and I will see you all next time.